Ladies and gentlemen in the crypto community, I have decided to stack up like a madman. And that means I am preparing for the massive bull run to hit our markets. People ask me when. We'll be talking about it in this video. But most importantly, I've been doing this. I've been buying massive amounts of crypto from some stashes that I did not want to touch. And the main reason I'm doing that is because I feel we're getting very close to the bottom. We've got major fear campaigns. We've got major institutional players joining the game. And our bear market right now has lasted basically as long as the entire previous bull cycle. I believe we are gearing up for something massive. Another point I'd like to add is that as long as I am continuing on with my DCA strategy and I don't deviate too much from it, it is extremely hard to make bad choices and lose money over the next one to two years. Again, guys, I am not, all right, I'm never trying to convince you to buy more. All I'm saying is I have personally decided the best course of action is to go a little bit crazier, but not actually only on XRP or anything like that. I've been deciding to buy more different altcoins. Some of the bigger ones though, like Chainlink, for example, I think XDC is pretty amazing. Just some, some of these big altcoins. But I've also decided, call me crazy, call me stupid, but I have decided to also buy more gold and silver. I think any single one of you knows that the dollar is pretty stupid to hold, right? I mean, what? <laughs> Basically, anything outperforms these traditional fiat currencies. But even though I think crypto has the highest likelihood for you to turn $1,000 into a million, I've also made many videos talking about how you basically have got nothing in terms of assets if the internet has some sort of issues that day. If you don't have anything that's worth, that's like touchable, right? Your cash is potentially worthless, but real physical things might still matter. And because it's a significant amount harder to just stack food with significant sums of money, we're going for something else that's touchable, like gold or silver. I am not going too crazy here. I'm just saying I've decided to put a little bit more money into it because I've been lacking in that regard. But I think it's still extremely important, mostly just to get away from this fiat that people see as holy. You got to understand as well, most people are into this crypto space to make crazy sums of money. But the fun part is they don't even have their exit plan. They don't even know what exactly they're going to do once they've got this money. And that's why I'm trying to prepare you right now. I have already been in crypto for a decade. I've seen multiple different bull markets. And let me tell you two things. One is you won't know it's there until it's there. All right. You, you probably won't really see it coming because in theory, the bull market could have started a couple months ago already. And right now we're just seeing one of the lower periods, but you only start calling it a bull run once you really get to these crazy high prices. Let's say we, for example, go to $35,000 right now. In hindsight, you'll be like, ah, that was a good part of the bull run. But right now it will feel like, ooh, is that a fake out? Is that just a, a bull trap? And if the price then comes down again to, for example, 24,000, which can happen in a bull run, people will be like, ah, you see, bull run is not here yet. People just got faked out, even though that might've just been a hiccup along the bigger run. And point number two is that money comes fast. So <laughs> this is so crucial here. You've got to have a plan. I've already made tons of videos describing to you guys how much crypto you'd need to become a millionaire, in my opinion, as far as I understand. And I've actually already made videos as well talking about these structuring plans and how to allocate your wealth properly because hopefully the majority of you guys are going from this wealth accumulation phase to the wealth preservation phase where, again, these precious metals might play a bigger role because you're not trying to make money as much anymore. You're trying to make sure your money works for you and so that you keep money forever, hopefully for your generations to come. But there's a key difference there in how you actually allocate funds, depending on what your goal behind it is. Of course, you're always trying to make more. Sure, sure. But at the end of the day, you're now going from this very risky mindset of I need to make it to I need to keep what I have and hopefully multiply it to even more. Now you've all of a sudden got something to lose. Because again, if you, for example, right now I've got $1,000 and you see a million dollars in your account, I don't blame you for cashing it all out quickly. But I'm also telling you right now, many people say to me, Dusty, if I ever make a million dollars, I never have to work again. And I always come back at that by saying, well, it kind of depends on where you live. It kind of depends on how old you are. It kind of depends how the economy comes around because really, depending on where you are, guys, a million dollars 
is not that much to survive off of or to basically let the next generation survive off of. I know a lot of people will never earn a million dollars in their entire lives working every single day. I understand. But the majority of people watching my videos are from the US where a million dollars is a lot, but you've got to pay your capital gains. They're going to find some other ways to start taxing you more and more. If you don't think of a good plan right now, the moment that you've got it, you might make some crucial mistakes. Like for example, cashing it out the wrong way, leading you to get too, <laughs> too much freaking tax. All right. You get no breaks or cashing it out at the exact wrong time or doing it in a stupid manner. Fun fact, for example, if you want to cash out, let's say $25 million right now, how would you do it? There's a little fun part that I like to sometimes tease people with. I'm not talking about selling it to USDT, for example. Do you even know how to redeem these stable coins or how to actually get fiat back to a bank account or what? Oh yeah, I just made 25 million. How difficult is that conversation gonna be to prove you rightfully own that money, etc.? Because the moment you've got it, you don't wanna be stuck, you don't want your funds to be stuck. Look into these things. Where can I cash out? What are the fees like? Which exchange will I use? And I always have a backup option as well. Which bank accounts can I cash out to? Which countries should I do it at? Will I move to another country? And now I'm gonna show you a video, all right? And this is mostly just to prepare you guys for how crazy things are. All right, now you might be looking at this thinking, Dusty, why in the world are you showing us a man fighting a bull, all right? And more importantly, why in the world is this guy winning? I, I understand you might be having that question. But I want you guys to understand the, the connection here. It might be a little far-fetched. I'll give this one to you. But here's what I'm thinking about this video. You see, it is extremely difficult to fight a bull. Who in the world does that? I do not know. Unless I guess it's life-threatening. And most people can't win unless you've got the skills, unless you've got the know-how, unless you've got something giving you that edge. And so, the point being here, the bull can be stopped under the right circumstances. And I like to extrapolate that back to crypto thinking, you know, the bull market most likely has already started. It's actually most likely already there, but there are some key things holding it back. And in this case here, I think it's influence slash power slash money right? The BlackRock, behemoths like this, potentially some other institutions coming together to push the price down for right now. Understand this. If five years ago, I told you that BlackRock, JP Morgan, um, I guess Google, all these behemoths were really getting into crypto in a couple of years, what would you thought the price would go to? I'm talking bull run 2017 times. It most likely would have spiraled completely out of control. Yet the moment that BlackRock said, hey, we're very big fans of this stuff. We're going to let everybody trade because the demand is so high. We want to get the ETF going. Let's let's go crazy. Well, all of a sudden, nothing happened no more. And yes, you might say, well, the moment it gets approved, blah, 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 but does the approval really matter that much? Is the actual money that can come in the key factor or is the idea that they understand the demand? They understand. And basically just the idea that they want this, this, this asset class, the most important part. Because once more, with all these actions recently from the SEC, for example, perhaps on the regulatory side, it's, it's such a double-edged sword that I keep on thinking, nah, they're, they're waiting for something better. Let me actually show you guys something else. Here's a little sheet that shows you how gold has gone ever since an ETF came out. The gold spot ETF SDPR gold shares. You can just see how... This price basically came along as uh, time progressed here. And I've not done my analysis, and I sometimes say join Discord and start talking there. So hopefully somebody does the analysis and we can learn more together. But I wonder how prices basically acted the moment that ETFs were announced versus when they really started actively trading. Because with the Bitcoin futures ETFs and all being live right now, I don't think them actually going live is the key factor. It's more the implication, more the idea. Yet the price is so low. It keeps me wondering. It keeps me thinking. Most likely they've got some bigger plan. And I won't be baited out. These mother... F f f these guys. These lovely, sweet people. <laughs> They're not catching me off guard, all right? I understand the crypto market works cyclically. So soon enough, we're going to be going up and up and up again. All I've got to do is buy and wait it out. Buy and wait it out. In a couple months, you'll look back at these videos and think Dusty was so freaking right. Because it's too obvious, yet people get this imposter syndrome. They think, you know what? It can't be that easy, but sometimes it is. And that's what I've also been telling you about some of these trades we've been making, right? We understand all the different details about it. All we've got to do is just look for these garbage-ass coins. 
Start shorting them, all right? Maybe not every single day. Maybe every other day. Maybe every $5 it goes up, you can start shorting it again. But we found an opportunity. No, it works from the history, and so we just keep going at it. People think, oh, it can't be that easy. Sometimes it is. And with this crypto stuff, guys, the most important thing to understand is you can make it if you plan accordingly. Every single person, I personally believe, can 10x their money this bull run. I don't want to make promises, so I won't. But I say, in my own personal belief, I think that everybody that tries hard enough is able to turn $1,000 into a million in a couple years. But let's just take it easy and say what I really think anybody with any sort of resemblance of a brain can do is 10x their input in the crypto market if they play their cards right, regardless of how much they start with. Even guys that are already billionaires, I think can easily stack within a bull market because things just go that crazy. I mean, look at how MicroStrategy is doing it. They're not in here just for fun. They're in it for profit or rather just to hold these coins as they're pretty scarce, but eh? Why am I making this video? Because I want you guys to be really prepared for how crazy things are going to get. I know I've done multiple of these preparation sessions, but it's crucial that you don't overlook the importance of adequately preparing and understanding your plan, your goal, your execution. Put it all in a line. Don't sit on the sidelines thinking, you know what? I've done my fair share. Let me just wait it out. If you're just waiting it out, the moment the bull market start, you might miss out on crazy opportunities. Always keep researching more. If there's a day that goes by, you're not at least involving yourself with crypto a little bit, it's a wasted day. That day could have been the game-changing moment. The reason I'm saying that right now is because we've been in a bear market for so long, things are on the verge of turning around. It's going to be a couple of months, and afterwards, uh, I guess, accumulating more might become significantly more expensive. So set your cards straight right now that you still got the chance, all right? I know you must be thinking, why is this guy telling me the same story again? I care for you guys. I want you all to be prepared. But most importantly, I want to minimize regret. And the one thing, if I could ever turn back time money-wise that I would change, is that I'd be hopping, oh, sorry, I just slammed my microphone, hopping onto these trans quicker and making sure I was ready for whatever opportunity was thrown at me. And the only way to get ready is if you understand your main goal, you understand your plan, you have the focus, you have the dedication, you understand what you want, and then really go after it. In my opinion, the best thing to do in that regard is just to be in Discord and things like that. Just kind of discuss with the people, even if you don't talk, just see what others are analyzing, looking into. And the more people, the more joy, the merrier, because usually what one learns doesn't necessarily hurt the other. But I've talked enough. Prepare yourselves. Things are about to get crazy. And I'm going to be here to guide you guys through the entire journey. My goal is to make a million millionaires. I think it's going to be possible within the next, hopefully, decade. But let's see. I hope you're one of them. So make sure you stick around.